हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू माई चैनल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर विच विल बी ऑन कन्वर्जन ऑफ मेट्रिक मेजरमेंट कन्वर्जन ऑफ मेट्रिक मेजरमेंट इज एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट part of our life most of the time we can easily see that we use various types of unit in order to measure various kind of object that we need to survive in our daily life we go to the market and buy various articles which are measured using different unit like we buy groceries then it may be either measured in kilogram gram liter milliliter etc similarly when we go to the <coughs> cloth center we buy various cloths then it is also measured in meter foot centimeter and so on. similarly as we go to the godown we can easily see that the cereals are measured in quintals or ton also so that the conversion of metric measurement or you can say that the use of unit has a great scope in various sector of our daily life okay so so it is a very important part of our life and we daily use such type of measurement we often drive or travel in various vehicles then we can easily see that the measurement of distance the measurement of speed of the vehicles then we can <coughs> easily see that so student we can see that the measurement of speed the measurement of distance that covered by the vehicles through which we may we travel so that the measurement of various object are to be done using the measurement of object so here we shall discuss about them one by one like first we shall know about the various unit of length various unit of mass various unit of capacity then we can easily convert the problem as given in the question so student let us see <coughs> the first some standard unit that i use so standard unit so let us see what are the standard units standard unit means the value of a measurement if r c for r if the value of the measurement if the value of the measurement are same for all then it may it is known as standard unit okay so as we all know that 1 meter the value of 1 meter in centimeter is always 
100 cm for all that is why 1 meter is the standard unit 1 meter is the standard units for length standard unit for length so we can say that meter is the standard unit of length meter is the standard unit of length similarly gram gram is the standard unit gram is the standard unit of standard unit of mass okay mass is a step for the weight of an object so the gram is the standard unit for measuring the weight or mass similarly liter liter is the standard liter is the standard unit of capacity is capacity liter is the standard unit of capacity so these are some standard unit that are same for all and hence they are called standard unit okay now we shall discuss some fundamental conversion of the unit that will be used for our further study in this chapter so listen carefully what i say <coughs> so that our first topic will be measure of length measure of length okay in measure of length our smallest unit will be millimeter okay our smallest unit will be millimeter and here 10 millimeter is always equal to 1 centimeter 10 millimeter is always equal to 1 centimeter and 10 centimeter is equal to 1 decimeter is equal to 1 decimeter okay and uh, similarly 10 decimeter is equal to 1 meter 10 decimeter is equal to 1 meter sometimes decimeter also written as dm only okay student and uh, now 10 meter is equal to 1 decameter oh, 10 meter is equal to 1 decameter and 10 decameter 10 decameter is equal to 1 hectometer and 1 decameter 10 decameter is equal to 1 hectometer and uh, at last 10 hectometer is equal to 1 kilometer so these are some fundamental conversion of the length that we shall need for our further study when we start our exercise so we need to still remember these conversions which are very important similarly we can discuss the measure of mass and capacity okay students so whenever we need then we shall discuss about them okay so you should remember about them similarly we can see measure of 
mass less than half mass the smallest unit that we shall study here will be the milligram mg in milligram sometimes we measure the weight of tablet or capsule that we use as medicine are measured in milligram because they are very small and hence their weight is so light so we use the smallest unit in order to measure the weight of the medicines and they are measured in milligram okay so 10 milligram 10 milligram is equal to 1 centigram 10 milligram is equal to 1 centigram and 10 centigram is equal to 1 decigram 10 centigram is equal to 1 decigram as we have discussed in our measure of length similarly 10 decigram is equal to 1 gram and 10 gram is equal to 1 decagram and 10 decagram is equal to 1 hectogram 1 hectogram similarly 10 hectogram is equal to 1 kilogram so these are the units that we use to measure the mass of the objects the sense of mass is weight we shall use these unit to measure the weight of the various object using different unit okay students so i hope it is clear to everyone now let us see some question on this topic that we have discussed here so our first question is convert as required convert as required and the first question is 12 liter 5 ml 12 liter 5 ml into liter this is the given question and we have to convert 12 liter 5 ml into liter <coughs> okay student so here we can convert it by two method the first method is we use first the smallest unit and continuously go forward like milliliter centiliter deciliter decaliter hectoliter like this or we can directly use liter as milliliter because if we convert liter into milliliter then we shall use the fundamental units that we have suppose that if one <coughs> you can say one milliliter is equal to one centiliter similar sorry 10 milliliter similarly 10 centiliter is equal to one deciliter and the next 10 deciliter is equal to one liter sorry One deck, one liter, one liter like this. So you can use this unit. Now, if I just convert one liter into milliliter, 
then first of all here we get 1 liter is equal to 10 decaliter 1 <coughs> liter is equal to sorry 1 liter is equal to 10 deciliter ok so in 10 deciliter there is 1 liter and 1 deciliter is equal to here you can see that 1 deciliter is equal to 10 centiliter 10 centiliter gaya or 10 deciliter will equal to 10 multiplied by 10 centiliter is equal to 100 centiliter ok and now we shall convert centiliter into milliliter then we get 1 centiliter is equal to 10 milliliter therefore 100 centiliter is equal to 10 multiplied by 100 milliliter and hence here we get 1000 milliliter so that we can say 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliter now we shall directly write here we need not write b we can directly write since 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliter therefore 12 liter is equal to 12 multiplied by 1000 milliliter and this will equal to 12,000 milliliter and hence 12 liter 5 milliliter will equal to 12,000 and plus 5 and this will be equal to 12,005 milliliter which is the required result. So student, we shall use this procedure to convert the unit of measurement. So student, I hope it is clear to everyone. We shall meet in the next video with some new question. Till then, goodbye.